Good afternoon, I'm James Ryan Burgess, CEO of Wing. We are an aviation company. We actually began as a research project inside Google X many years ago, six years ago, but we've since this year spun out as our own separate alphabet company, and we're excited to tell you about some of our developments today. We began the project with the motivation that there's this huge resource above us, the sky, the third dimension, and if we could help enable access to that more easily for everyone, we could radically improve transportation. We also took inspiration from history. Every time in the past we've seen advancements in transportation, from shipping, containerization, railroads, airplanes, every new step that we've taken to make transportation easy, we've seen benefits in economies, new businesses form, and our quality of life goes up because we have access to the things that we need. We think that unmanned aviation technology, drones, are the next step in that transportation improvement. We see lots of promise that these devices not only are less expensive for everyone to participate with, they're also much faster. They provide a better service to customers and to businesses, but there's benefits to our communities as a whole as well. These devices are actually safer in transporting packages than automobiles on the ground, and since they're powered by clean electric batteries, they don't leave a carbon footprint as they fly. So we're really excited about the potential and the promise we see. And drones, we think, are actually the most exciting development in aviation in a generation. So we're looking at how we can develop this and how we can make it pleasing for communities. And when we started our project, we began with a focus on emergency medicine and transporting medical devices to people who might need them. And we've since broadened our scope to look at what if we could connect people to the items they need anytime they need them? What if we could deliver anything to anyone anywhere? That's our vision, and that's what we'd like to see come to reality. So it's taken a lot of work, as I mentioned, six years of development and testing, and we're excited to share with you today some of that progress. So here's our aircraft. We call it the Hummingbird. I'll raise it up for those in back. You might notice it doesn't look like a traditional drone. In fact, there's almost two aircraft I'm holding. You see there's rotors for hovering, like a helicopter or like a multi-rotor drone you might be familiar with. But we also have wings and a tail and motors up here to push us forward through the sky this way. That allows us to position ourselves very accurately and pick up and deliver packages, but then fly quickly and efficiently like an airplane so we can cover great distances. So this aircraft will fly 10 kilometers to perform a delivery, 10 kilometers back, 20 kilometers total and we fly at 125 kilometers per hour. So we can cover that distance in under five minutes, providing great service for people when they need things the most. You can also tell that we've done some thinking about reliability and safety. That's our number one goal on this project, is to make sure that this technology is developed safely for our communities. And you see there's 12 rotors for hovering. There's other redundant systems inside that you can't see, but we have dual batteries, multiple sensors, and our philosophy is, even if things go wrong, even if we have failures, we want to make sure these things stay in the air safely and can finish their flights without causing any harm to people below. So that's a critical philosophy and goal for us. Another thing um, you may have seen in the previous animation and on the screen here, there's a, a little glimpse at it. We don't land to pick up or deliver packages. We love airplanes. Our program is filled with pilots. I'm a pilot myself and engineers. We love being around them all the time. But most people, when they just need an item or a business if they want to send something, they're not really aviation enthusiasts. And we made the decision to keep the aircraft up high, away from people at all times. So it actually hovers at seven meters, lowers down a hook, and businesses and partner merchants can load items on, send them up into the sky, transport them to customers, and then recipients just receive the package. That's all they really care about, and that's all we want them to have to worry about. The aircraft stays away. And everybody always asks this question, so I'll just answer it for you. Well, what happens if somebody pulls on the string? What if they try to pull it down out of the sky? Believe it or not, that winch system of our aircraft is actually one of the most intelligent pieces of this whole system. So we've programmed it to be able to sense tension if it's stuck on something, and it tries to deliver, and it'll yank it back. And worst case, if somebody's holding on or if it's stuck on something, it just unspools the line, and the drone flies away. So we've been thinking about how can we create a wonderful customer experience where people who are not aviation enthusiasts can get the packages they need, and even if things go wrong, it still operates safely. We don't want to create any harm or concern. OK, so we have an airplane, but it needs to know where to go. And flight planning and air traffic management is another huge issue in drones today. 
there's a, a system, it's an industry, it's called Unmanned Traffic Management, UTM. And it's a software solution to provide traffic management um, capabilities for drone aircraft. And Wing is also working on this type of a software platform. You see behind me one of the renderings of our flights. And what this software does is it takes into account all the constraints, all the restrictions, places where it's safe to fly or not safe to fly, and plans a route for the aircraft to connect the business to the consumer to ensure that the flight is performed safely and where it should. That works for one person, but what about when we see these things um, get promoted and have higher adoption in our cities? We're going to need software to manage multiple drones. And this software does that too. It plans routes for multiple aircraft, ourselves as well as third parties, and it allows them to route safely through the skies to ensure that everyone can access the airspace easily and safely. Wing is actually committed to launching this as a separate product for free, so third parties, whether you be commercial or hobbyists, can fly your drones in a safe way, making sure the airspace stays safe for everyone. Those are some of the major components we've been working on, but we have to make sure that they're safe and effective. And over the last two years, with this version of the system, we've performed 60,000 test flights. And in some of our trials in the United States and Australia, we've done 2,500 deliveries to customers from participating businesses. And we have learned a ton through this effort. It's been really exciting to see what works, what doesn't, improve the technology, get feedback, especially from actual customers and communities, and ensure that we're developing this technology in a way that is appropriate and actually value add to our communities. Over those 60,000 test flights, we've been actually able to get the data that says these systems are, in fact, safer than automobiles. So think about that for a moment. If you're in a city in the future, and you see a drone aircraft doing a delivery over your head, not only is that helping a customer get something they urgently need, it's actually helping our communities stay safer because we're removing kilometers driven from the roads and reducing traffic accidents and injuries. So that's really exciting, not to mention the environmental benefits that I spoke about earlier. Over those 2,500 test deliveries to customers, we've also learned a lot about people's feedback and their suggestions for how we can make this better. We've done a lot of testing demonstrations that happens in a lot of aviation companies. And we say, come to us, come look at our test site, and look at our drones fly. And that's interesting. We get a lot of oohs and ahs and people excited about that. But when we come to you and come into your environment, that's when things change. Expectations get higher. People say, that drone delivery took 10 minutes. I thought it was supposed to take five. Where were you? Or I want this to be um, you know, more pleasing for my community, and I want it to fly this way, that way, et cetera. So those flights that we've performed have been tremendously helpful for us to continue to develop this technology in a way that's suitable for our communities. This is how it works if you're a customer. Just like any on-demand system, you pull out your phone, you can browse a selection of partner businesses, merchants, select something from the menu, and this is where it gets a little different. Instead of typing your address, you're not constrained to a fixed position anymore. You can say where on the ground you want it delivered maybe in your front yard, maybe for privacy or other issues in your backyard. In the future, we would like to see this be available even in public spaces. So if you're in a park and you need some medicine, you can get that. And we're excited that drone delivery allows a system to reach anyone anywhere without constraints to addresses. Once we confirm the order and start flying to you, we're also quite predictable. These fly through the air, so there's no traffic jams to get stuck in. They're always on time. And when we tell you we'll be there at 2.41 PM, we will be there at 2.41 PM, plus or minus 5 or 10 seconds. So it's exciting to think about those use cases. Maybe it's really raining or snowing outside, and you just want to step out for a moment to grab your package. You don't have to interact um, with a system that might be 10 or 20 or 30 minutes late. So that service is really incredible for us and um, provides customers an experience that just is not available today through any other means. That's from the customer's point of view. But what about on the business side? This is something we're tremendously excited about because drone delivery has the potential not just to improve the customer experience, but also enhance our businesses in our local communities. Imagine a small business. If they're able to perform delivery, it's usually only a few kilometers given traffic and delays. They don't want their products sitting in the car for longer than 20, 30, 40 minutes. Otherwise, the service is too poor. So we have the ability to connect businesses with users much farther away and to do so in just five minutes and even less if you're closer. So we love the idea of helping local businesses in our communities expand and reach more customers. And given the potential of the technology, we can do so at a cost that is not so prohibitive. We've talked to some businesses who say, I would love to offer delivery, but with the margins that they charge and the cost it, it takes from me, I can't afford it. And with drone delivery, we can provide a service that's not just faster, 
but less expensive for the customer and for the business. So we're really excited about that. What you see on the screen is a rendering, rendering of a potential operation site. We have a few models we can work with. We can partner with a business to locate with us so they can load their items right at the start. We also have the capability to fly the aircraft from our site, fly it to your local business wherever you happen to be, pick up the package from you, and then take it to your customer. So we can help businesses compete with five-minute delivery without any cost of infrastructure. So we're really excited about the potential there. So in total, we look at this technology and we see tremendous promise from safer interactions in our communities, cleaner environments, and much uh, quicker service for customers and for businesses that can really help connect people to the items they need. So you may ask, why am I here? Why is Wing here presenting to you at Slush? Well, we're here in Finland because we're excited that today we're announcing Wing is coming to Finland. We're going to be trialing our service in the spring. Thanks. We're really excited. We're, um, this will be our first operations in Europe, and we're excited to come to the continent and really bring this technology forward. And when we looked out across all the potential opportunities, Finland is known as a country that adopts new technology and pushes it forward. And Finns, as a people, not only are after new technology, but after smarter ways of doing things, things that help customers and businesses, but also the community and the environment and safety. So it has a great reputation, and we're excited to engage in the greater Helsinki area in the spring to offer a trial service and work with the local communities to see how drone delivery can help you. We also work extensively with Traffi, the safety and transportation regulator. And drone regulations today are a hot topic because drone technology is so new. And we're excited to partner with Traffi to make sure we meet the highest level of safety regulations and get the approvals needed to begin operations next year. We've actually begun flying in Finland just last week. At a test site north of Tampere, we started doing test flights in the cold environmental conditions. And we're going to be test flying all winter to make sure that we're really, really ready for service in the spring. And it's been exciting to see that as these aircraft took off for the first time in Europe just last week. So that's some of our system, some of our plans, some of our excitement for the future. Let me show you what drone delivery can look like in Finland. Pretty exciting. You notice we left you on a cliffhanger ending there. We didn't show you what was inside the box. That's because we don't know yet. We want to hear from the people of Helsinki and Finland, what can drone delivery do for you? What kind of service would you like? This is not about technology for its own sake. It's about finding ways to make this technology serve people. So we want to hear from you. And that's why we're at Slush today. We want to get your feedback and input on what you'd like to see for this service. So we're just today launching a new section of our website, wing.com slash Finland. And the request is that each of you go there, or if you don't want to do that, at the Google booth, we have some kiosks with this website open, and fill out some input for us. Tell us what types of businesses you want us to work with. If you're a small business owner yourself, let us know. If you have a certain need day to day that you'd like to have delivered in less than five minutes to your doorstep or elsewhere, let us know what that would be, because we're about partnering with the community and understanding how this can be developed to actually provide value to people in Finland. So thank you very much for your time. We're excited to see you next spring, and we'll be engaging with the community for the next several months to set this up and make it a success. Thank you very much.